Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas. And I'm going to talk about the benefits of Ringer's Lactated versus Normal Saline. Uh, Ringer's Lactated is also called Lactated Ringer's. They go um, hand in hand. And this is a, a fluid that is used through the vein intravenously after trauma, after blood loss or fluid loss, and after a burn injury. So it's something that is used in those settings. It's not actually used as a maintenance fluid. So um, one of the benefits of lactated ringers is that when it's metabolized through the, the liver, it is actually counteracting the effects of acidosis. So acidosis would be when the pH is lower than 7.35. And so this is counteracting that and preventing that chemical imbalance from occurring. So this is usually used in a short period of time. A doctor will order it uh, post-operatively. You'll hang one bag of LR going at 150 an hour and that'll go until the bag is done. And then normally they'll switch over to something like normal saline as a maintenance fluid. And the reason why they need something like normal saline as a maintenance fluid versus lactated ringers is that Lactated ringers is too high in sodium and too low in potassium over time, so it creates an imbalance within the electrolytes. Normal saline can be given as um, a form of preventing dehydration um, if someone's not able to take things orally or that they, they do need a maintenance um, continuation of fluid while in the hospital or during an acute phase of an injury, a trauma, or disease. Um, and then this is also managed by daily lab work to make sure that those electrolytes, electrolytes, blah, blah, electrolytes are not being offset. Um, so those are the ma major differences. Lactated ringers is being used just in acute phase for blood loss, trauma, or burn injury, and normal saline is being used as a maintenance fluid.